In this video, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to set it up so that your custom CSS styles for your articles and other areas in your Joomla site appear in the styles dropdown in the JCE editor, editor. Hey there, Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too, and thanks for tuning in to today's maintenance, no, not maintenance, watch me work live stream number 33. You should probably uh, bet on whether I get that confused every time, uh, but don't do it as a drinking game. That wouldn't be healthy. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in today. If you're watching live, please say hi in chat and give the video a like so that others can find it. And of course, if you're watching on the replay, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and you'll uh, get more of this stuff that I uh, hope is helpful for working on your Joomla sites. So here's the situation and this is actually going to be a fun one for me today because it took me uh, a long time to finally get around to figuring out how to do this and my friend uh, and our channel friend Vinny uh, helped figure that out. Uh, help me figure it out too. If if you make some custom CSS that you want to apply to certain parts of articles or modules, uh, custom modules, or other things for the front end of your site, if you have that set up, it can be tedious to always go in to edit the styles and to put that in manually. You don't have to do that with JCE Editor. You can actually set it up so that it's available in a drop down in the styles. And that is what we're going to see today. So let's turn our attention over to the computer and we will uh, get looking at that. Remember to head on over to basicjuma.com to the giveaways link. I don't have it up there, but enter this month's giveaway. Uh, and so let's just get right at it. That's how, who's that? 67 entries so far this month. It's coming in. All right, here we are logged into the back in the site. And as you can see, I have uh, an extension update, and I've not updated this to Joomla 3.9.6. Going to be going live later on and doing that live stream as I, as I do, just to show how to update Joomla for people that are new or who have fallen behind in their Joomla versions. What we're going to do is go to Components, JCE Editor Pro. Uh, let's just go to Global uh, Control Panel. All right, then we can go into Editor Global Configuration. And as we scroll down, you will see right here a section that says Editor Styles. And when you mouse over, it shows you some options. Now look, I've not explored every single one of these options. Uh, default for me brings up nothing on, on this site, as does if I select Template CSS, which is supposed to find the CSS for your template. Um, that doesn't work for me either. And I don't, I'm not saying that's a problem with JCE Editor. It's just something I've not looked into. But what we want to look at today is template C uh, is to go to a custom CSS file setting. And when we do that, we have the opportunity to enter a custom CSS file. Now you notice I already have one there from when I was practicing and testing for this, but uh, we can just delete that. You'll, yours will be blank. And what you want, what we want to do is create a CSS file that holds the different styles that we want to be available uh, in the article, uh, in JCE editor when we're editing articles or custom, anywhere that the editor appears. And to do that, we need to create that and we need to add some CSS. And so I'm gonna show you uh, some different ways that you can do that. Uh, I will say though that I you can experiment, for instance, um, let's see here, let's go to, uh, Let's go, to do this, we're gonna to have to go to the hosting account and I've already have that logged in. Let's go to file manager and we can find the, uh, we can find the path to one of the CSS files for a template, the template that I'm using. Now this is kind of a bit of a jumble because I have lots of Joomla sites installed on this account for different purposes and tutorials and that. But so, but this is the public HTML folder and I'm going to go down to uh, templates and I know this is JD Paris. It's an asteroid framework template that I'm using on the site. And now we'll look and here is CSS. Now, I think I'm finding the right place. Just as an example, I mean, you'll have, to, you'll have to find the CSS files for your particular template that you're using. But I go into CSS here and we have asteroid and uh, style. Um, so I'm just, uh, if we right click and we view this, you'll see there is a whole bunch it doesn't wrap in this view let's close that right click and we'll just go edit uh, it, it here is just everything jammed together compressed so there's for fast loading 
uh, all a whole bunch of different um, CSS for the template. Now up here, you'll see here is the path to that file. Now what we would put in JCE editor is this. Um, we would not, I'm just going to delete what shows editing. We would take everything out up to the, including the folder that Joomla is installed in and then select here. So it's going to be templates, JD, Paris, CSS, uh, asteroid, big long one. Now it is quite possible that this particular CSS file is being created on the on the fly or when it gets refreshed it's probably not the static one so I might have it wrong but just just to demonstrate how this can work if you find the right CSS file and go back here to JCE editor where you're setting it up and paste that in there and that's the whole path there and click on save Next, well, let's go save and close for now because we, I need to open up an article now. Content articles open there. All right. When we go into this article here, by the way, yesterday we were testing this website, DLVRIT. No, it's on, on Maintenance Monday, and it didn't automatically post the new article to Facebook, which is what was its purpose, but it's because I hadn't confirmed my new account that I created in the stream. Uh, anyway, so here we are, we have uh, we have uh, this article, and if we click on styles, I hope that it is there. Yes, there are the styles that are in that CSS file that we just put in the JCE editor setup. So for instance, I could uh, select these two lines here, and I could apply the asteroid mobile menu style. Now, why would you do that? I don't know. But we'll see some uh, handy dandy things here. Now, you'll see heading one and heading two are in there. We could select heading one. Uh, but of course, we have heading one to select over here under paragraph. But uh, I only show you that just to demonstrate that if you want all of the CSS for a template to appear in this drop down, you would find the CSS file and that's where you would point it. Uh, that, th and that's the uh, the path to that file you would put in JCE Editor. Of course, this is also a good example of why you probably don't want to do that because we don't need all of this. And in fact, there'd probably be some that have hundreds. There are some CSS files that would have maybe hundreds of different styles. It would just be too, conf too confusing. So what we'll see now then is how we can add just the ones that we want to this uh, to this drop down so that they're available. All right, so let's just close that we'll go back into JCE editor and back to the global configuration all right so let's get rid of this file name here and instead let's go to the file manager and we'll create a a file now we have the opportunity to put this wherever we want if you were to put it inside the template folder of your uh, the folder of the current template that you're using who knows that but that maybe down the road you change templates but you still want some of this custom CSS available and if you uninstall the template you would lose that file so what I suggest is why not just for fun uh, put it a little bit farther up the tree here so you could put it in templates let's just do that uh, that's and let's create a file here and I'm gonna call this um, my custom CSS whoops Actually, my yeah, my custom styles. Let's do that. This my custom styles. Dot CSS. All right, the dot CSS. It's good just to let it know it's a style sheet or to remember it's a style sheet. I'm going to copy that name. So we'll create that file, and now we'll see here. There it is in the folder in the templates folder. So now we want to go. <clears throat> excuse me to the JCE editor. And then we want to paste the file name in there. But remember, we put that in the templates folder. All right, so you want the path to the root of your Joomla install, not of your hosting account, to the root of your Joomla install. So there's templates and then mycustomstyles.css. Let's just save that. Now, of course, we don't have, where is that? Let's close a file here. We don't have anything in this file. We go edit, 
it's totally empty. So let's go and let's get let's just create a, a random style for this. Let's go back to the giveaways page, and I'm going to um, and that's uh, yeah that and I'm going to hit F12. That brings up uh, the um, that brings up Google Element Inspector. I think it uh, brings up the Inspector in Firefox as well. You'll see right now I have Inspector set up so that whenever I put it, it goes. It, whenever I go to it, it shows the mobile view. A little button here that will toggle that. And now it shows the, the full screen device here. And I'm just going to click this uh, inspection button. It says select an element in the page to inspect. So I'm going to left click on that little arrow. And let's just go and find, you know, basically anything. So that's, I'm going to select this line of text. Over here in the right hand side, and just give me a second here so I can turn off my, uh, the, the camera here. Do, 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 do. All right, sorry, I disappeared there. I keep doing that. But anyways, uh, my picture is gone. So down here, as I was saying, we inspected this line here, and there is CSS that is affecting it. It's paragraph, margin top, zero, margin bottom, one rem. So now let's, I'm going to click right down here, and I'm going to begin to type CSS into here, which is really handy uh, in this element inspector. I'm going to change the font, font. And then it gives me some options to pick. So I like font size. So I'm going to hit enter. And now I get to put in what the font size is going to be. Now, uh, using REM, R-E-M, is a good way to go because as screens change or, or adapt, uh, it will, um, it, will it, it adapts a lot better to screen size. If you use pixels for font size, sometimes they just stay big, even on small devices. But, in, but for this example, I'm going to use pixels. Let's go 75 and px for pixels and you will see all of a sudden up here it's just gone crazy because i am previewing this page with a css change where paragraph has a font size of 75. don't worry when you're doing this because no one can see it on the live site because you're just changing this how your browser is working now down in this corner here i'm going to go left uh, left click and hold and select that, that CSS, all right? I'm gonna copy that. Now we can go to the empty style sheet and I go Control V and I can paste that style in there. Now, I first of all need to make this, uh, I don't wanna change paragraph for the whole, um, for the whole uh, site um, when I change this. So I'm just gonna create a sort of a goofy thing for the dropdown and I'll just, uh, Let's call it that, goofy text. All right, and we'll take out that. And it needs a period at the beginning to make that work correctly. Now, so here we have goofy text, margin top zero, bottom margin, and font size 75. Go save. And next, we will go back to uh, an article here. In fact, we probably want to, I don't know if I need to clean the cache yet or not. There's a, sometimes, look, if, when you change the setting in your editor as well, in, in JCE editor, when you change that setting to, uh, to a custom CSS, you, uh, there's instructions to flush the cache. Here I am looking at the computer and uh, it's not on. Uh, to flush the cache and, um, of your browser so that it works if you run into that problem. All right, so here we are. Um, now, if we go to the drop down, look, there we go, goofy text. So we could actually select a word and apply that style, goofy text. Now, why you would do that, I don't know, but it's goofy text, so there you have it. And that is just sort of a preliminary way, just showing you the basics of how to, um, how to add your custom CSS to the dropdown here in JCE Editor. Now, uh, I'm gonna keep going. Whoops, the daisy. I have really turned off that camera here. Just a sec here. This screen is gonna go black for just a second while I turn this back on. Okay, now I'm back. 
Uh, so uh, that's the basics, and some of you are probably going to be leaving at this point. I want to show some other examples um, because the next thing that I'll show you is how you can find your other CSS items for your template and just add them in here. Because on the drop down, all we want are just the CSS that we want handy for us when we're editing articles or anything in the editor, or especially if you're building this site for client or someone else that's working on your site uh, and you want to just make it easy for them to find the styling to keep things consistent. And I'm going to show you an example of that. So stick around for that. And we're also going to chat later on as well. If you are leaving, then thank you for watching and for your support of this channel. I uh, hope that uh, you will subscribe if you found this uh, if helpful and earned a subscription. Ring the bell for notification. Click on the bell icon and you'll get notified of other live streams and tutorials. So if you're leaving now, enjoy your Joomla site and God bless. And for those of you that are staying, let's continue on and look here. All right. So you just change the screen over here. All right. So. In fact, what screen am I on here? Let's go back to the viewing the screen here. And in this case, oh, here, I can just turn off the camera here. All right, without making everything go black. I'm just going to, well, we can just leave this open. I just want to show you an example of where this really came in handy for a client. So let's go over to uh, my client site, firewiseconsulting.com, consulting.com. And I'm going to go to a section on their site, which is Firewatch Latest Stories. Uh, and I'll show you what, I'll tell you what was happening here. Um, oh, in fact, look at that. I had this actually set up so that click here to read more was showing up uh, as blue and a square block. Now, somehow that has gotten undone in, oh, I, you know what? Oh, here we go. So I sent a tutorial to show how to do this and they haven't done it yet. All right. Uh, here's click here to read more. Uh, this is the way this box is supposed to appear here. So let's go F12. And then let's go to turn off my camera. And uh, so the issue that was happening with this site here was that uh, my client was uh, in an earlier version of this. Of this was type was typing click here to read more and would make the here part the hot link but um the hot link it uh but in this new template was not showing up as underlined and the font was not different and so i created a css uh a custom css so that you could select text and put the blue box around it um and and i guess my client didn't get that email so here is the blue box that I had set up. And if we go to Element Inspector on the left, and like we did before, and select that, and let's scroll this up a little bit. Down the right-hand side here, you'll see here's the Read More box and all of the different things that are impacting it. So we could select this Read More box. Whoops. And copy that. And you'll see... We kind of have blue border color. Blue is being overridden somewhere up here. I might need to tidy this up. I might have some duplicates in there. Anyways, we can take that CSS. We can then go and play, add it to the custom CSS that we did. And we can go save. And now when we refresh here, I think we will have that custom text um available in the drop down let's check and there it is now notice goofy text is so big it's kind of it's it's kind of getting covered up a bit by read more box i don't think there's really much to worry about because a lot of the styles we're going to apply will just be little changes and shouldn't overlap uh, i suppose there's something we could look at and look into to see if that can be changed so they display more on top of each other when they're big but anyways that's that's the way it is right now but if we were to select this uh this line here and assign read more box we have a preview of what that would look like on the site now uh back here on the firewatch page you'll see um when you mouse over the link 
uh, it turns to, when you hover over it, it turns to orange and the font is white inside. Now, to see that, what we want to do is we could reinspect the element and go right to the link, but check this out here on the left here. We have a little triangle that shows there's more that we can go to there. So we open it and then we end up in, here's the ahref. And if we click on that, the CSS is revealed over here. And you will see that there's some uh, hovering that has been added in here. Um, let's see, read more. The color is white. So the link is white. Why don't we just select that? All right. And the um, down here, that's so, so that that's white. So that over this uh, A, which is for links, overrides the blue. The other thing that we can do is we can view this in a certain state and so let, uh, to see what the, where the CSS is for the hover code. Because when you hover, it doesn't change the code down here. First of all, let's just uh, post this here. And now, so we'll go back. Now see over here in the far right, you can click hover on the element inspector. Now it show, uh, uh, now we can select hover and we will see the CSS for this element now when it's in the hover position. And you'll see the read more box A colon hover. So what a link when it's hovered is orange. So we would grab that. You know, and of course, this is a using element inspector is something that's just a learning curve. And uh, the more you do it and as you figure it out, uh, you can find some very basic things. Sometimes it's very tricky to find CSS that you want to change. But we can. Uh, all right. So we'll go back to that custom CSS. We'll put that in there. I have spaces here just for ease of reading. But the as long as you have all your uh, opening and closing brackets, you don't need to worry about that. So we have the read more box A, so a link, anything that's a link, it's white. And when you hover over a link, it's that orange. And we can save. And now let's go back to the article and refresh. And let's select that text. And there's the style for read more box. And when you mouse over that, uh, when you preview that page, in fact, let's just do that right now. Uh, we'll save that. We'll preview it. When we preview that page, that box, oh, you know what? Because that's not a link, it's not going to show up uh, for us to mouse over. And indeed, oops, here's a really good point. I have added... Um, uh, I've, I've added the custom CSS to the file that we have set up for the editor to display, but I've not yet added that CSS to the, uh, anywhere on this particular site. Cause I was getting it from another site. So what I would need to do is this, I would, uh, in this case, I would go and I would grab this CSS that is there displaying to be seen in the JCE editor style dropdown, but I have to add it to the site. And to do that in Asteroid, let's just close this. You go to extensions and templates. Uh, you'll have to figure out how to add custom CSS to the, to, to the uh, template that you're using. We will go to um, JD Paris. And go to template options. And now we're going to go bombing down to custom code. The hamsters on my computer are doing their thing. All right, custom code. Here's custom CSS. I already have a bunch in here. I'm going to go to the end. Enter. Control V. Paste all of that in that I had uh, just added from the other site. And go save we'll clear the cache uh, i have to i'm going to clean the cache for the joomla site as well and now when we refresh this we're going to see a blue box 
But as I said before, we did not make this text a link, so the mousing over color is not going to work. But anyways, you can see there that um, uh, that you, what you want to just slowly do is find the CSS styles that you want to have available. Let's uh, close out of this. The CSS files that you want to have available in the dropdown, you want to add them to the custom CSS uh, file that we uh, point at JCE editor to. And of course, if you're pulling uh, uh, styles from other sites that you have, or doing or creating sites on the fly and adding them, you need to add them to your custom CSS for the template, as well as that CSS file that you point the editor to. So I'm glad that I uh, did that uh, here on the stream, just to make that point as well. We go down to content articles. We'll go back into that one that we just had open there. And uh, so we see here's our styles. It's dropping down. I'm just going to unpublish that because we don't need that showing up on the site. And so basically, all you need to do from that point, oh, sorry, forgot to show you on the screen here. I've unpublished that file. All you need to do from that point is rinse, lather, and repeat with adding your CSS to the file you create it and point it JCE editor to and like I said make sure your CSS is in the custom CSS uh, that you add for your template all right so at this point let me just grab the zoom link here if anybody wants to uh, call I probably should have done a little bit earlier after the first sort of wrap up if you want to uh, come on and voice there's the link right there or you can post anything in chat. And um, I will have to, uh, if I, it's quite possible that my client did not actually get the email from me. I've been having some email delivery problems, I think. So um, I'm gonna have to go in and fix that up for them because they have gone on a little trip. All right, so, hmm. I think that's everything that I've got for that. Uh, it is pretty cool, a nice, a nice feature the, to be able to use that and to be able to uh, have your CSS just handy there so that you can just apply it at certain places in the articles. There's probably not a lot of places that you need to do that anyways. Uh, but, you know, it might be something, if you want to have, say, a custom signature at the end of an article and someone types their name and you can tell them, hey, if you, you put it into these italics, you could actually create... Uh, and I'd have to see how you do this in JCE editor. You can probably create, uh, I wonder if you can, I wonder if you can create different sets of CSS that's available to certain users. Why don't we just take a quick look at that? So I'm going to say, oh, I hate it when I do that. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to try to, I'm going to snip that out later on. Let me just show you what we just did. Um, and for those of you that are watching the replay, I just cut out a little section. Is it possible to have different CSS, custom CSS available to different user groups in JCE Editor, and it is. To do that, <clears throat> excuse me, what you want to do is go to Editor Profiles. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to, you know, frog in my throat here. And then go to the profile that you want to edit because JCE Editor allows different profiles uh, for different user groups that you create and you can go to features and let's see we've got set up there no features no it was editor parameters uh, and typography and then go to so editor parameters typography then you can go to editor styles and if you want to have different user groups in JCE editor have access to just certain custom CSS you can create your own custom CSS file, just as we've seen for globally for the JCE editor. You can create your own custom CSS file for each user group that has, a, uh, uh, has been assigned whatever options and combinations in JCE editor. So you're getting really into a whole huge matrix within a matrix here, but it gives you great control. So the example I gave before that I've probably edited out by this point, if you're watching it, is that if you have editors, if you have authors who are adding content and you want them to be able to put their name 
and then assign a signature text, a format to their signature uh, at the end, then you can give them that opportunity in the drop down here in Styles and JCE Editor. If you don't, uh, and but if you have another group, say of editors who should be able to not only have access to all the CSS of the authors, but also some CSS as editors that they may need to fix or to be adjusting, you can create a different CSS file for them to have access to. So that is pretty cool. All right, so, and of course there's tons of things that you can be, can be explored here in JCE Editor, especially now that you figure out that there's all these different options for groups as well. But, okay, so, there we go. Well, I think that's it. I think that's all I've got for uh, adding your custom CSS to the styles dropdown in JCE Editor. If anybody has uh, anything that you want to chat about or mention or share, now is the time. I will watch for a few seconds here to see if anything pops up. Otherwise, hey, there's Chayton. Hello, Chayton, with a big, uh, what kind of, is that a frog smile there? That's pretty impressive. Um, uh, yes, Chayton and I, uh, remember we, uh, uh, Chayton and I have started a, a podcast called Joomcast. And um, if uh, we're actually, we're doing our second episode tomorrow, we're recording it. So hopefully that will get all edited and be online either tomorrow or Friday, your time, wherever you are. And then that will be, uh, that will be good. Uh, I think, I don't know if you just got on here now. Here's the, I don't know. Here's the Zoom link if you want to come on. But uh, otherwise, yeah, so that will be cool. And another project that I'm working on that I'm excited to uh, to uh, share with you in, in a little while. So anyways, that's, uh, so that's pretty much it here at CyberSalt World Headquarters today. Uh, thanks for those of you who are very understanding. Uh, last week's uh, maintenance, uh, Watch My Work live stream did not, I just deleted it because in the end, we weren't able to add the save and close and fix the save button for editing in the front end article, but we'll see when that comes along. I haven't given up on it yet. Um, hey, Mary says she, that you often add editor.css in the JCE editor config with this. Im oh, at import custom CSS, at import URL template.css body margin. Da, da, da. And what does that do, Mary? Let me read this again here. And I think, uh, let's see what screen we got on the go here. Just, um, yeah, the text is, that, that is not refreshing on the YouTube chat there. It's not, anyways, it is there on the side for the live stream if, you, if you're not watching this in full screen. Uh, so she says, uh, you, she often add editor.css in the JCE editor with this at import URL custom.css at import URL template.css. It imports both the custom and template CSS and it keeps the editor window background white. Oh, okay. Because if you change some CSS, sometimes the background in the, oh, if you're working on a site that is dark, has a dark background, you can end up with a dark background in the editor sometimes. So you add that you often add editor.css in the JCE configurator config with this. Uh, so editor.css, that would be the custom CSS that you make then, right, Mary? Just a different file for the, just different name for the file that we created here. By the way, I, I, this is JCE Editor Pro, but I tested and you can do the customization of the CSS files in the free version as well. Let's go to control panel. Okay, so you okay, so you put uh, at import. Let me just copy this because it'll disappear with the chat. I do not know why that is not updating there. Let's just let's flash that screen, flash this screen. See, there we go. I don't know why that didn't update. But Mary takes that code, and I'm just going to paste that in here and then uh and chayton if you're still there is there an asteroid is there a main css file for asteroid that uh, can be 
you know, that can be used and edited that's not going to get changed. Uh, what I mean by edited and not get changed is that if a template gets edited, if a template gets updated, you don't lose use any changes that you've put in your CSS. And the reason I'm asking that is if, you, if there's a file that we can point the JCE editor directly to where additional excuse me, where additional CSS can be added. I'm just curious about that. Uh, okay, so, so Mary. Yeah, I know uh, custom CSS files. Yeah, and it's just, but it's just uh, for this JCE editor, the dropping down, the drop down in the styles. It'd be nice to be, uh, I was wondering if there's somewhere to just point. But as I said earlier, you don't want to have all those styles in the drop down anyways. All right, so. Sorry about that. <laughs> Clicked the wrong button. So, uh, yeah, so we would go to. Mary's talking about adding this to the custom size here to do Control V. And then that code that she has here, which is going to disappear off the bottom as I zoom in. Oh, it just stays at the bottom. Look way down and I'll call Rusty. Mary says she likes to have all the styles. Okay. Cool. Well, if you want all the styles, then whatever floats your boat. Um, import URL custom.css. So that's the name that she gives the file. Okay. Colon. Import URL template CSS. Body, margin, padding text align okay so that's to make the background white and Mary puts that in let's go back here you put that do you put that here in okay it's the editor class a class name or list of class names separated by space to be applied to the editor content area oh that's where you place that in editor class am I right we can try this right here Let's paste that in there. Hmm. Actually, I don't think that that's the editor class. Let's look. A class name or list of class names separated by a space to be applied to the editor content area, e.g. content area. And now we've reached the outer limits of my CSS space knowledge here. You don't put it there. Thank you, Chayton. Mary, uh, Mary says what I'm looking at might be new. I have to check that out. Okay, yeah. So I do have it in the custom one. But it looks like you can change the editor here so that it... Uh, what to, so C CSS will be applied to the editor content area. And you make an editor class, a class name or a list of class names. So for instance, um, all right, here's the trick here is making a class. What do I type to make a class in CSS? And where would I put that? Something else to research and look at. But I get what you're trying to do, Mary, and what you're saying there. In fact, if I, we could do this. Do, 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 do. Um, so body, we've got in body margin padding. Oh, background color white. Let's change that to black. Whoops. So if we save that. Let's just reset this here, his size here. Save that to black and uh, clean the cache. We might be able to go to content articles. Let's open up. Oh, we already have that there in that screen there. All right, and we go in there. Does the background go black? It does go black. All right, so what Mary, all right, so that's the place to put it. And so what Mary has shown us is a great way to add, to make sure the back is always white. And you add that to your custom, to the CSS that you have selected here in custom CSS files. 
Now it looks like you have some other, uh, another way that you can do some class names, but that's something else that we can investigate. Um, I do have another CSS. Uh, it's either going to be watch me work or it's going to be uh, maybe a tutorial, but on uh, assigning CSS to certain sections in a template. Uh, Vinny helped me figure that one out too. But uh, anyway, so there you go. If, if you want that white, so we could basically, you could put any color in there. Um, in fact, let's see. Element inspector will work in here, I think. We click. Click on this box and you'll see here the background color is black. We can turn it off here. So we could actually get a very stylish red with sort of a trans, just a very light red background. Why you would do that? I don't know, but there's the hex for it. We go copy and uh go to the custom you could go color could be there control v and we need to put the hash at the beginning and save that and go back here and refresh and that should be red that nice red and it is so look at that i did not fix i went to spell fix site there and did not do a very good job all right, well, let me fix this back up here. And then I see your link there, Mary, and we'll check that out. Uh, it's here, background color. That's a great tip though, Mary, to just include that so that it's always, the background is always white. Because you might change background in your custom CSS that you're pointing JCE editor to, and that would um, not be great. All right, we save that, we refresh that. And we're going to go to the link that you just shared on Joomla content. Okay, create a custom editor style sheet. JCE uses your site's template style to get the style in the styles drop down. Okay, so that's what we've been looking at. Da, da, da. Oh, and it says here to create editor.css in your template folder. All right. And they're probably going to point the path to that. Uh, but I still like to have it somewhere where you wouldn't lose it if you delete your template or uninstall it. Override dark brown, dark, okay, override dark background colors or center text. If your template uses a dark background or a background image that has made reading the text in the editor difficult, or if the editor text is centered, add the following underneath the last at import entry. Okay. And, um... Here they have at import URL. Okay. Let's skip down past some things here. Okay. Editor styles. And that's clear. All right. So, and that's what we've been doing today. I don't see anything that refers to editor class. Okay. I have a few things open here. Let's close that. Editor class. Uh, da, da, da. That's the editor style sheet. So appears similar to the final template. Create an editor. Da, da. Create an at import rules for each style. That's, I, there's something I should check out. If your new editor.css file, in your new editor.css file, add an at import rule for the template style sheets you want to include. Oh, okay. So if you have some other style sheets somewhere, you can put in um, at import URL. And of course, this works if you have your custom file inside the actual template folder. Okay, so I wonder, you might want to, you might put at, hey, I should post this link here for, whoops, Daisy. Control copy. That's where we're. Re well, Mary's already posted a link. Good. Um, do, do, do. Okay. Right to pull in what you want with at import. Okay, so that's that's good too. So instead of just uh, instead of just selecting um, uh, a big one that pop 
possibly changes, you can in, you can uh, import one into your custom one and that will not break. So why don't we do this? All right, so in your new editor, template b css position.css. So that means if I take this line here, control copy, go back to this file manager for uh, that we have here and go control import URL position. I'm going to do this though. I'm going to look in the files and go to JD Paris uh, CSS. I'm going to select this guy here. So first of all, up here, I'm going to the URL will be templates, JD Paris CSS. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that in this URL here, control V. But then also in square brackets, oh, sorry, in those round brackets, I want to put in the name of this file here, control A, copy. And uh, Chayton, does this, uh, this, this file name here, is this just random? Is that like, like what the name is forever? Does that get regenerated when you do a refresh? Just curious about that. Um, anyway, so we will go in here and paste that file name. So we have this, there's the uh, import templates, JD Paris, CSS, and then this file. Let's see if that works. I will uh, let's clean the cache just in case and we'll go refresh. And let's try this drop down. No, that did not work. How about if we go forward slash? Did I miss reading that? Let's do that. And refresh. Hash, refresh. And Nope. So does uh, perhaps this just needs to be in the same folder as the instructions say. Templates. So put it in. Uh, create a custom one. Da, 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 use more. Da, 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 uh, in your oh, where it's reading where to put this crazy thing. Okay, templates, your template, CSS, editor.css. Okay, so we're going to go into here. I'm just going to select this, control A, copy. And then we'll go back to here and we go template. So we're in JD Paris, template, CSS. Let's just make a new file and call it uh, editor.css to keep with the... Uh, Probably would mean I could have just looked this up and learned all this all together instead of just figuring it out slowly. Uh, Editor.css, we create a new file. We double click on there. Whoops, no, don't double click on that. We right click, we edit. We paste all that stuff in there. We import URL, URL, comma, or, uh, round bracket like that we save i have to go up to here and grab the path control copy go to the configuration here and we will go paste that there forward slash editor dot css save that cleans the cache automatically with cache cleaner. Go to the article and we refresh. And we will see in the drop down. Nope. Now I wonder, just let me uh, let me just change things here. Uh, and on my screen here, go to settings and dump the cache on my browser just in case that's what's happening. 
uh, advanced to do they don't make this really easy to read on uh, in here there we go clear browsing history clear data go back to here and refresh and let's check the drop down now nope back to the drawing board in your new temp, okay. In your new editor.css file, add an at import rule for the template style sheets you want to include. Remove the path up to the CSS folder from each of the URLs. For example, template B's CSS position.css becomes position.css. At import URL. Oh, I do not have a. I bet you I don't have a. Um, I do not have a semicolon at the end. Okay, I did notice that earlier. If you've got anything broken inside uh, inside the CSS file, it is not going to work. Not surprisingly. Can we refresh without the cache here? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Nope. All right. Now we're into the deep end of the watch me work thing. Position.css. At import URL bracket. And there's the name of the file. Closing bracket. Semicolon. Templates JD Paris. CSS. At import URL. All right. Well, it's not as bad as last week. At least we accomplished a bunch of things. Uh, did I actually? Templates JD Paris CSS editor.css yeah I've got that right the file is named editor.css all right well this is something else that we could uh, revisit in the set type template yeah now here I actually have not typed in the actual code that they have here. So why don't we just try that? Control A, Control B. Templates to editor class. And save that. I don't think that's going to make a difference though. Nope. All right. Well, something, uh, something's not quite working right there. So, um, no, my mind is wandering. What am I looking at? All right. So clear your browser cache and open an article for editing. Let's just close that right there. Let's go to settings, clear browsing data, cached images and files, clear that data, uh, open up an article, do, 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 caches are so great, but there's a pain as well. No, let's control shift and R on this. And no. All right. Well, that's something that's going to have to be figured out. But we did have it working in order to... We did have it working before with doing it the way that I had it. So this is just a matter... And again, this is... I mean, it is working for pulling the CSS. It's just not importing... Uh, oh, look at that. I have this other... Import... I have this other 
import thing here. I wonder if that is the problem, having that extra line there. Save, clean cache. Yeah, CSS, it's wonderful. Like everything else on that to do with web pages is wonderful when you can do it. <laughs> uh, refresh that. Nope, that was not it either. Import. Oh, and you know, I took out the stupid wrong line too. I have this one at the end here. Uh, import URL round round and that's what you got there so I'm going to take out what you added there Mary just for now just to see if that's throwing that off uh, control X but I do want to save that I have that there on that screen there Take out a few spaces here. Import URL asterisk. Da, da, da. Save. Clean cache. Refresh. And drop down. No. Denied. All right. Well, that's all right. I can accept that. And we're still in the global configuration here. We're not doing something crazy. I, I will take the earlier wins. Templates. Do you do editor basic Juma? Yeah, it's templates is the name. So always some little thing that just gets you to in these things like a comma or anything like that template string template css editor anyways all right we'll live to fight another day all right well thanks for that tip mary that was really great for the background in that and we did see that we can apply it and make it work so that is good. Uh, there we go. So, um, got eight people watching right now. Hey, we're up to uh, 1,300 and 1,328 subscribers. Picked up a whole bunch uh, in the last couple of days. Well, a whole bunch is like five or six. That's a bunch for me. So, uh, thanks to all of our new subscribers. And thanks to everybody who's watching today and watching right now and lurking. Uh, again, if you got anything else, just put it in chat there. Um, there was a cool story that I was going to tell you, but I'm going to save it for a project that I'm working on. So I wrote it down in a note there. If you can read that faster, figure it out. Anyways, um, I hope you guys are all having a great day or evening or morning wherever you are. There you go, that chat's not showing up on that. Very unreliable, that chat. Uh, and that um, that things are going well, that you are uh, having victories in your work and you're not getting stymied. Uh, like we just got stymied on that. Although, getting stymied seems to come along with the territory, doesn't it? All right, so that's all for now. I think we'll wrap it up there. Thanks everybody for listening, for sharing and uh, for being part of this channel and uh, I will catch you probably next maintenance Monday whatever the topic is going to be head on over to anchor.fm forward slash joomcast if you're not tired of hearing my voice if you haven't listened to the podcast with um, if you haven't listened to the podcast with uh, Chayton and, and myself yet let's see anchor.fm forward slash joomcast Mary, go play this for the goats. I think they're probably like it. <laughs> Anyways, head on over there and, um, and uh, give a listen if you haven't yet. Anyways, in the meantime, everybody, have a great day. Enjoy your Juma sites and God bless. <laughs>